this lesson we're going to look at some basic foreign currency examples. So it's important to understand that all countries do not use the same currency. I think everybody probably knows that. Uh, when you travel abroad, pounds are not accepted in other countries. Uh, you have to know what the, the currency of the other country is and you usually have to change your pounds over before you go or you can do it at the airport and so on. So some quick examples here. Uh, if you go to France, uh, France is part of the European Union so you would use Euro. Italy is the same. If you went to Japan, you would use the yen. Uh, USA, you'd use the dollar. China, you'd use the yuan. Uh, we'll just make a pie symbol for that. And Vietnam, you'd use the dong. There's, there's tons of other countries and currencies, obviously. Now, how do you change over from your currency to the foreign currency? Well, to get from great British pounds to a foreign currency, you need something called an exchange rate. So you'll find your exchange rates, you can get them online, Google has them if you type in foreign currency uh, calculator or you want to even convert £20 to euros, it will do that automatically for you. Uh, when you go to a bank or a post office or a, an airport, you'll see uh, these kind of things here and these are currency exchange rates. So all you do to change your money into the foreign currency is you find the exchange rate out and you multiply by it. And that turns it into the, the amount you would get in the foreign currency. So here, um, at the time I did this, the, the currency rate for the euro was 1.16. It's probably different now, but if you times 20 at that time by 1.16, you would get 23 euros and 20 cents. Now, some exchange rates are really big. Look, for Japan, uh, there's 102 uh, yen. So when you take 10 pounds and you times by 102, you get 1,020 yen, and some people think, oh, I'm rich. Why does that not make you rich? To get 1,020 yen for your 10 pounds? Well, when you go to Japan, all oh, the prices are, are relative. So, when you've got your 1,020 yen in Japan, then your, your burger meal, if you like, is costing you 500 yen. So you've spent half of it already on a burger meal, which is kind of the same as the UK, you spend about a fiver. So it doesn't make you rich because the prices accordingly have gone up. Um, now that's just not always the case. I mean some countries are poorer like Thailand and you will end up feeling a bit richer. But a lot of countries um, that are developed, uh, the exchange rates do not make you richer. And finally what do you do to change your foreign currency back into pounds if you, if you finish your holiday and you want to change it back to spend your money at home? Uh, then all you do is you get the exchange rate and do a division sum. So here, Hong Kong dollars, we've got 30 Hong Kong dollars. The exchange rate's up here at 7.0043. If you divide by that, you get back into the currency of your country. So multiply by the exchange rate to, to go abroad, divide to come back home.